Hi, hello there friends, it's Emma here, the bookish princess. In today's video, we are going on a fall jaunt to New England. Recently, my cousin Becky and I explored the coast, kind of between the border of New Hampshire and Maine. We had such a fun time. We explored Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which was such a cool city. We found so many fun bakeries and cafes and bookshops, and of course, libraries and lighthouses. We actually stayed just up the coast in York, Maine. We got in kind of late on the first night, but we did have time for a really fun dinner, as you're about to see. Hope you guys enjoy. Look at how charming this looks. Oh my goodness. This is the York Harbor Inn where we're gonna have some dinner. <laughs> look at that booth, doesn't that look cozy? And there's a fire going back there. We're like in a ship. This has special suggestions. The chef's suggestions. Oh, of course, Maine lobster. I think I'm gonna go for the lobster corn chop. And the turkey cup cup. This is the lobster corn chowder. It also has chunks of potato in it. It's very nice. It doesn't, wow, my face is really red. It doesn't taste um, seafood or fishy, which is my, my main indicator of whether or not I like seafood. <laughs> Becky, why don't, you, why don't you tell them what you bought in uh, Maine for dinner? Because we're in Maine, I thought I should get you know, something appropriate to the location, so I got a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there were so many lobster options on the I menu, don't like seafood, I know I I can. This is this is as much lobster as I can take. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to debate. Should I try lobster because I'm in Maine? Maybe we'll see. At some point, stay tuned, <laughs> guys. This is why I'm not good at eating seafood. Is that like a claw? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that pickle. It's like see? a Bloody Mary or something. <laughs> a Bloody Mary, <laughs> Mary burger. Here's my um, turkey club. This looks very, very nice. I like this little porthole. We had a very nice little table here. There's the fireplace back there. That looks very cozy. I thought maybe we'd go check out the upstairs real quick. There's the bar. <laughs> This looks cool. So we were eating in the bar. This must be an upstairs restaurant. Wow, that is quite a fireplace. It looks like there's a real fire going in there too. Oh wow, do they have a breakfast buffet maybe? 1637, oh my gosh. Rooms. This is a very cute place. And coffee in there. That looks like a cute seating nook too down there at the end. I don't know how dark this is. I'll try to lighten it up in post, but wow, there's the sea. Right out there. So this weekend we are staying at bed and breakfast called the Morning Glory Inn. It had amazing reviews on TripAdvisor. The um, proprietor cooks a really good breakfast every morning and the rooms are so cute. The ceilings are a little bit low, but luckily Becky and I are both short, so it doesn't matter. But I think it's so charming. So you come in, you have this little writing desk right here. Fridge over there in the corner, which is very nice. Dresser with a mirror. This is just kind of the little entry room. So right off to the left, is the bathroom. Let's take a quick look. These uh, seashell soaps are so cute. Very nice, serviceable shower in there. So you come out here, there's a closet in the corner, and then you go through into the bedroom. This is so cool, because there are so many windows. Another little seating area, another closet. Just look at how charming and pretty that is. And this door over here, I'll have to show you in the morning, but it actually has a little patio area right outside which we could sit in. We could get some morning coffee, sit out there, although it would be a little bit chilly. That looks nice, some muffins and coffee. I like their tea cabinet, it's pretty great. This is such a pretty lobby. We're 
we're totally gonna go hang out there in the library loft overlook. How cool is that? I want a library loft in my house. Oh wow, they've got quite a nice library. Look at that cool library. There was a typewriter like that in um, Emily Dickinson's house. There was. But it must have been her sister's. I don't think she did. You're right, I don't think she did. Who is Balzac? And so how like, was he this prolific? If you look at you, I'm so proud of you. You're quoting Hamilton already. I just made her listen to Hamilton <laughs> on the drive here. Because they have Mary Poppins. Poppins. Wow, these are really pretty um, additions with the dust jacket. We're deciding where to go today. <clears throat> All the lighthouses. So our room is just off of the back there. That's our little porch door. Beautiful morning to explore. paths diverged in wood. There are people on both paths so I can't even take the one less traveled by. I don't know. That, you're right. And this one is paved and this one is gravel so I guess this technically is the one less traveled by. <laughs> we'll walk down this one, see what's there, and we'll come back. <laughs> so much for Robert Frost. <laughs> we went down all the paths. Take that. <laughs> I don't know what you're wrong with. Just keep them off. We have to walk back this way anyway. You're right. Although Robert Frost did live in New Hampshire. Although he lived, um, I think, further inland. Huh. Samantha Brown visited his house in that PBS Autumn Watch special that they did. Oh, look, there was this beautiful hotel. It must have been like right around here. That, but then they built the fort and they had artillery <laughs> practice and it, it broke windows at the hotel. Oh, but it was called the Pocahontas Hotel. It looks kind of cool. Is this a like playhouse? It must be because it's right next to the. Look at how there's a tree literally growing out of it. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh, look at how cute this is. Wow, can you go inside it? Although the windows are all shuttered up. Maybe it's because it's, um, maybe in the summer they're open and, oh yeah, look, it's locked. I made it myself, words and all, Hagrid. Donated by the Silsby family, this is so cute. It's like a tree ground house, mm -hmm. like a semi-tree house. Wow, I wonder if the tree uh, branches inside like make up a like bench or something, because they probably should. Look, it is our first lighthouse sighting of the trip. It's a two for one. There's our second lighthouse of the second lighthouse sighting. Oh, how crazy would it be to live on that house? You would just be surrounded by ocean on every side. That must have been the lighthouse keepers, and then I guess they would maybe row across because there's not really enough room to, it seems like, for someone to live at that. Look at the color of that water. That's just beautiful. Sea green.
expect Frodo or um, Sam to come running through there, pursued by black riders. <laughs> I see the lighthouse there in the distance again. Oh yeah. Framed by leaves. This is such a dramatic coastline with all these mm -hmm. rock promontories. It's been kind of fun to watch the water like come pouring in, mm -hmm. kind of making lots of little mini waterfalls and then it goes out again. And such a lovely day. The sun sort of glittering on the rocks under the water. Yeah, just look at the colors of the, the water. Like that kind of green emerald shimmering in there and the lovely blue. Oh, I bet this is dramatic when there's a storm with waves crashing up against the rocks. It is supposed to rain tomorrow. We, to we could, I mean. <laughs> Although maybe we'll just stay in our cozy hotel. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how rainy it is. Pretty this is, all the houses we've been passing have been just so charming and lovely. Such a beautiful sunny day, we're in Kittery. Oh, they must have two buildings because this says library, but so does that. Doesn't that look like a pretty library? Look at all those windows. The downstairs with those interesting rounded shelves and the upstairs. There's um oh my gosh, that was one of the cutest libraries I've ever yes. been. The cutest and cozy. I liked how they had um like cozy chairs everywhere. Oh, those are super comfortable. Weren't those chairs beautiful? <laughs> libraries don't like bother to give you that often. I feel like they well, often just give you very utilitarian, very modern. Very modern. Yeah. That was so charming. Look at those scones. Hello, how are you? Oh my gosh. Is that like a churro? Oh, it's a crawler. Oh my gosh. Wow. I went with the pumpkin spice crawler. I got the classic. The classic. These are so beautiful. Look, I'm now gonna have to come back here. <laughs> 
Becky went with the hot chocolate. That looks really good. Here's this tomato mozzarella with basil pesto. Oh my goodness. Wow, so this house is 1950s on this side, 1700s on that side. Mm -hmm. oh God. That's quite a kettle. Mm -hmm. Two kettles. Two kettles. And then you walk right through, back a couple hundred years. Wow, I like this wallpaper. That's really pretty. Felicity was always my favorite American Girl doll, so I've always loved the colonial period. Oh. The next door Felicity Mellerman's yeah, father owned a general store, so right. it was probably That's something like this, beautiful. only in Williamsburg. Felicity's bed uh, bed hangings were kind of very were very similar to that red one. When I was little, I went to uh, Colonial Williamsburg, and I totally bought. Um, like a set of oh. colonial money in the gift shop and then Felicity used it <laughs> back at my house. So this whole green area used to be water. I think they said the water level would like rise and fall between 12 or 14 feet with the tides. So they called it puddle docks and lots of these houses would have had wharfs stretching out to receive goods and it was quite a maritime community. But I think in the early 1900s they filled it in to have more room for um more room for housing. So they're making a ship in there. That sounds kind of fun. Look, it's like Kirsten's doll. Oh yeah. Have a little chest of toys mm -hmm. throughout the years. I just saw this recently on Instagram. Mm -hmm. These are such pretty illustrations. Red. And this is the room where they spin. That was really cool. I've never tried weaving before. No, I kind of want to get a little loom. We were both thinking of um, Farmer Boy, yes. Almanzo's mother, like the thud of her. Yes. That he would go up and sit with her while she wove, and she was like so. Yeah. She must. You, if you did it all the time, you must have gotten really she fast. Was a and class for Royals. For Royals, new, for suit, Royals right? new suit. That is exactly <laughs> what she was weaving. A how-to. Mm -hmm. I like her hat. See, look at this. We're doing like all the American Girl dolls. This one is Molly. Yeah, Molly. <laughs> well, there's not Victoria. Maybe we should walk back to that mirror. You're right, Samantha. Samantha. Hey, well, we saw the beadwork. That could be Kaya. She was the Native American. Oh. I like Kaya. In the book, Felicity picks apples and then makes apple butter. They had apple butter in the cookery house. The cooking demonstrations for today were over, I guess. But that sounds really cool that they like use the old methods, so they have like all the ingredients there yeah. and the, the old cast iron. Yeah, the cast iron, Dutch, 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 Dutch ovens oven. and everything. They were making dumplings today, apparently. They didn't Not look very, very good. <laughs> he said. <laughs> I was like, what? You didn't miss much. <laughs> See, Alexander Hamilton probably would have come to the Pit Tavern if he came to Portsmouth. Look at how the house and the leaves oh, yeah. totally match. I've never seen a two-story gazebo before. That's amazing. Oh, these are cute, aren't they? This looks like such a cute colonial town. We saw a sign for books. Sheaf Street Books, and so naturally we have to follow it. Hopefully they're open. Oh, it's this one right here, I think. Good stuff, cheap. Three dollars each. Do you see anything good? No. Oh, um, she was Virginia Woolf's friend. I read something by her a little while ago. She loved her garden. In fact, the book I read was about her garden. It was Notes from a Country Garden, oh. something like that. Ooh, this is kind of a cool edition of Treasure one. Island. Oh. Okay, I'm kind of tempted. For three bucks? For three. What's that? Too, I don't know. What is it's it? It's too bad. It's, too, it's super old. Oh, and it's taped. Silas Marner. <gasps> I love Silas Marner by George Eliot. Like <laughs> 
<laughs> that's that's a really funny joke. <laughs> Quotation mark. Thucydides, there's some not bad stuff out here. Yeah, Frost is from this part of uh, New Hampshire, north of Boston. This is our She Street Books haul. Yes. So I got The Hobbit, That's and this really is- really, oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, this so is the pretty. first edition I read, but the copy we had at home, I read it too many times and it fell apart. <laughs> I have the trilogy, The Lord of the Rings, not the trilogy, The Lord of the Rings, but I don't have The Hobbit in this in edition. In this edition. Ah, how perfect. You know what you have to do? You have to write She Street Books on the inside. Oh, yeah. 2018, yes. so you can remember when you got it. I did get the $3 Treasure Island. I couldn't resist it. And then, I've been thinking of buying this, before we left home, it's a the Everyman Pocket Poets edition of Frost, because Frost was right there. So now we can read it. It's been a very poetic trip. Emily Dickinson, Robert Frost. Pumpkin spice flavored novels. Wow. Bookstore number two. Breaking new grounds. I think that's the one that Samantha Brown ate at in that video that I sent you. Oh. We're trying when we were trying to decide where in New England we would come to see the Fall Leaves because we were thinking somewhere in Maine. And then Samantha Brown on her Instagram story posted from Portsmouth, and so I looked it up and I was like, "This is really cute." All these alleyways that they have, just random little corners. It feels more European that they have all these little streets. Footnotes. That's a great name for a store. The flower kiosk. Looks really pretty. Wow, see, look, at, I like how this one street dips down and then goes back up. And that one little dolphin striker restaurant. The river house. Those were so cool. I just wish they weren't so expensive, but they were beautiful. I like how the, um, the sign says, 8 p.m. or so. We'll decide, you know? Six o'clock. Spire silhouetted against the sky. How cute is that? The dad's carrying the brooms. Two little witches. Wow. This looks really good. Maybe it's just 